All right, starting out today with the check health options on these trees. So the first one gives us 251k up to 64 farming, 157k. So we've got our level back and another 167k. So from 58 straight up to 70 farming, just like that. All right, guys, here's how the rebuild is looking. Just got the Slayer level to wield the broad bolts again. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, though, and reset my router because I noticed that my uh, prayer keeps dropping while I'm flicking, so I'm going to see if that fixes the issue. And also, just a heads up, if any of you get that issue where you're prayer flicking, like maybe after a big upload, if you're a fellow YouTuber, and your prayer keeps dropping, just reset your router for like 10 minutes or so. So this guy tried to AFK check me with his dragon dagger and couldn't catch aggro on the fire giants because I've been here for 15 minutes. So I decided to chase him out but decided not to pursue the second I saw a white dot but unfortunately it turned out to just be some noob in a bone bow level 69. But just a moment later a couple keys just popped right up. Alright, and to prove that you don't really need uh, lots of keys or lots of supplies to PK, Dragon Dagger, Six Prayer Potions, Rune Crossbow, Black Dragon Hide, Nice Supplies, Dynamite. Alright, and there's the end of Dwarf Cannon. Another easy one out the way. And this lets me do another quest between the rock. You know, I'm glad I watch other YouTubers because I almost made the same mistake that Mika did with the Underground Pass, and I was just recalling that, sort of almost laughing at him for it, to myself, of course. And then I noticed that I was literally about to go through the Underground Pass, and the King's Message is in my bank, and I was literally going to repeat exactly what he did as I was thinking about what he did. And then I kind of put two and two together. And this time I got really lucky and I got like the most memorable pass for this part. Yep, seriously. And here we have another quest complete. Alright, coming in with the quest complete for the Roving Elves quest. And since the shield is unavailable in Dead Man, getting the bow. Don't know where I'm gonna finish off the last two shots of quite yet, but I might get the full crystal bow and view it if I come across more money in the future. But for now, let's start Roving Elves. Or no, not Roving Elves, I just finished that. But for now, let's get on with Morning's End Part 1. Alright, and there's all the sheep died. Alright, and there's Morning's End Part 1 complete. Now to start Part 2. Alright, let's see if we can get this obstacle first try. This would be amazing. Wow, first try with 71 agility. That's great. That puts me in an awesome mood right now. Made it back, too. Alright, crossing number two. Looks like we made it. Well, okay. Looks like we made it. That's awesome. And now, this dwarf gives me the longest fetch quest I've ever heard of. And my cutscene glitched out because that shadow attacked me right then. That kind of sucks. <sighs> Alright, there's the last of the items. Yeah, sure, bud. Take them. Take them all. Where the fuck's the talisman? A bucket of milk. Dude, you fucking suck. That's my friend in the background and... Indeed, he's right. Well, before I rage tell you the fuck out of here, I'm going to turn this crystal around so that I don't have to resolve the puzzle. Alright, guys, coming in with a long one. Here we are at 
quest complete. Wait, what? Alright guys, for real this time, coming in with a long one. Morning's End Part 2 with the 20k agility XP. Alright guys, looks like we might have a donation coming. Oh guys, coming in with a bond donation from N3RD. Oh, is he giving me another one? Oh wow, he gave me two. Wow, thanks man. That's awesome. Oh, I'm going to use these right now, actually. Redeem. Alright, there's the gnome route unlocked. Sweet. That's needed for Monkey Madness 2. Alright, so here we have my hard clue addiction and a spot that would probably kill me. I think what I'm going to do is actually bank this casket for now because I have like 20 fire giants left and that's going to take practically no time. And why risk what's in the casket from my bank when I don't need to? Alright, so within this clue scroll we completed, we get... Ooh! Ooh, Piscolaris teleports. That is an interesting one. And the ancient dehyde body. I kind of like that. That's fashion scapey. Ooh, that's sexy. Ooh, yeah. Matches the glory and fucking everything. I love it. Oh. Oh, shit. A useful fashion scape item from a hard clue. Finally. Actually, I can't say finally, because this is my first hard clue of the season. Oh my god, I did more hard clues during the tournament, and it's like two, three weeks in? How is it? I don't know. DT's not out yet, so it's not two weeks. That comes out after two weeks, so I'm still good. Alright, coming in with level 80 ranged. I'm going to switch it up a little bit and start training some strength. And the next task is Hellhounds again. I was. No, I wasn't just out there. I kind of want that Ring of Wealth and U scroll for this, so I'm going to see if I can work up 50k so I can get another Ring of Wealth and I'm going to buy it from this guy real quick. The scroll that is. It's not accidentally skull. There's the Ring of Wealth scroll. Alright, let's go get a clue scroll. Well, for the price of only 50k, got my 70 prayer back. Now, it's time to go kill some hellhounds, get some clue scrolls, and see what happens from there. Whilst doing this slayer task, I came across someone who looked rather suspicious, like they might have just PK'd someone who was up at the rogue's chest stealing some dragon stones, or the fact that he's poisoned, he might have PK'd someone and waited off his skull, and he might be ready to dip out, so... I just couldn't resist, even though he's only got a god cape and staff, I had to go for it, but chances are he was actually doing the Mage Arena 2. He could have ran away from me in all this time, I had like 30 energy, but now with my like 70 agility. There it is. Let's see, what did he have? 54 bloods, 13k cash. Super Restore. Oh, well, I just feel kind of bad for killing that guy, shit. I thought he was, uh... What do you call it? Getting to the Dragon Stones. He could have outran me, though. That was entirely his fault. He chose not to fight back. He, he could have easily just ran away and I would have ran out of energy. I have no stamps that I feel less bad because he could have avoided that if he tried, but he didn't even try. He just fucking stood there. So whatever's in his bank is mine along with these 54 blood runes. Always try guys, like if somebody gets on you, it's not necessarily over, I mean. 
don't just stand at the freaking lever, run somewhere. I mean, I have no freezes. All he had to do was run back in the multi. I'm not gonna follow him there. Uh, if he runs west, he could literally run anywhere, and I wouldn't be able to catch him. Like, literally, all he had to do was run away from me. You know what I think he was doing that makes me feel kind of really bad, actually? Is the Mage Arena 2 thing, considering that he had the staff and the blood runes on him. I think he might have had one of the imbued hearts on him, and that kind of makes me feel like shit, honestly, because now he's got to go out and get all those hearts again, and that's a real pain in the ass. I've never done Mage Arena 2, simply because it looks like a real pain in the ass, but I've seen guides and whatnot, so I like know how it's done. And judging by the loot, I'm assuming that that's what that guy was doing. But I killed him regardless because I don't know what he's doing out here. He could be stealing dragon stones at the rogue's chest for all I know, and could have a mill worth of dragon stones on him. You know, and I don't want to pass that up. But since he was just a guy that was just charging his staff to get his god cape, I mean, if I would have known that, I would have let him live, because 54 blood runes, I mean, I, I hope there's something good in this key. 13k cash, though, I can now enter that gate over there, so that's a perk. Maybe that's something I should do, is check this gate. Oh, hello. Anyway, maybe something I should do is check this gate over here and see if there's anyone inside it. No adventurers. I could hop through the worlds and see if I can find someone fishing dark crabs again. But at the same time... Uh, actually, yeah, I think I will do that. I do have like 80 of these hellhounds left and still plenty of supplies. So I'm not really, like, low out here by any means. Only thing, though, is with those guys, is typically you get a half-hour skull for them because they're such low combat level. Oh, shit, I just hit the rune I go. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm dumb. I, I'm, I'm really bad. Yep, he's gone. Oh, that's him. He hopped right back here. But then he hopped right back out. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Wow, I guess the world, and I wasn't in the crate, or in the axe hut. Stump. So at this point I'm just trying to catch Agro on the axes and with how many people keep showing up I'm thinking eventually there's gonna be too many axes on them and I might be able to get this log out in pretty soon but doesn't look likely I keep on trying but 543 543 6543 come on come on and there's just two agro but not agro enough and then three two one oh almost <laughs> Thank you.
What? Oh, that should have been out. Oh, come on. Almost. And at this point, it's most certainly not looking good at all. I'm trying to log out onto my retribution prayer or redemption. Just hoping and hoping. And then, look at this bowl. 9 HP and redemption. Why didn't that proc? At least I wasn't scolded for that one. Let's see if I can get anything back. Oh, wait, no, I won't because untradeables, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm going to need to go get my defender back. Alright, we're on that rebuild grind from a death here. Let's see if we can get that dragon defender back. Dragon Defender. And coming in with quest complete for a Dragon Slayer 2 requirement. Along with 61 thieving. I wonder if I can actually do some pyramid plunder. I don't think that requires anything. I might actually just do a round of that real quick. And I'm surprised more people don't do pyramid plunder to level thieving because outside of it's in a safe zone. And I doubt anyone's going to skull up inside here. Alright, coming in with the quest complete for an easy one. Up to 170 quest points now. Well, we just died again and lost the rune sim. Uh, was on a farm run. Uh, cat was almost grown, so that's going to be another two and a half hours growing a cat. And then I gotta get the sim back somehow for basic questing. But yeah, I can't even walk around in a rune sim these days. Alright, on with the client of Karen quest. We have like literally nothing. Uh, I guess I'll toss my rune pick in the deposit box because I risk that now. Alright, there's the quest complete. Well, due to a lack of a weapon, due to rapid speed dying literally everywhere I go for the anti sword, for the rune sim, I am. I guess I could be down to the training sword. I should probably go grab a training sword so I can hit a little bit better, but this works fine for these quests. I gotta search that chest over there. And coming in with another quest complete. The Zaya quest done. Alright, coming in with another quest complete. Got a memoir page, more teleport books, or more teleport charges on this book that I'm ruling here. But yeah, there's the rest of the Zaya quest finish up. Now I'm gonna go work on Elemental Workshop Part 2. Back from a bit of a break. Those last couple deaths were rather frustrating, but hey, we don't really need all of that stuff to get the quest cape anyway, and rebuilding isn't that bad, honestly. I need to go up to catwalk, I think, and put these gears on something. And also, this quest is nice and chill, because this is an instance, so no one can touch me down here. My cat can grow up in peace. I've got one more bucket of milk for it. I think I can finish this quest in the one feeding time. Alright, that all sort of came back to me as soon as I started running that. That was really easy. I think I've done this within the past year, actually. Yeah, I made a bunch of extra shields when Fossil Island came out. Alright, and coming in with quest complete with this mind helmet. Pretty easy quest, but up to 175. 25 quest points off a of Dragon Slayer. Coming in with a quick check out from a tree I planted a while ago. Who attacks people in Lumbridge? I can't even canoe over to Vara. Don't you love those farming parts and quests where you have to plant something then wait? I forgot to buy shears, but this general store sells them. Alright, and coming in with the quest complete for a tale of two cats. This is a big requirement for Dragon Slayer 2. 
Not much else left I need for that. I'm waiting on my partner still in order to do Heroes Quest. And then once I get that done, I can knock out Legends real quick. Heroes is the only thing I need for Legends. And I believe now Legends is one of the only things I need for Dragon Slayer 2. Might be one or two other things. But for now, I'm going to work on getting some Black Masks to get some money rolling. So I'm going to do... Zorg Flesh Eaters, Rum Deal, Cabin Fever, and that whole pirate series. And there's quest complete. Alright, as I got 61 crafting, my cat grew. Alright, coming in on another quest complete. Time to get started on Rum Deal and get some Black Masks. Alright, coming in with another quest complete. We have the Holy Wrench now, and it's all we need to start Cabin Fever, I believe. Alright, coming in with another quest complete. We've unlocked the ability to kill Cave Horrors now. And there's the quest complete to 182. Well, since I was here, I figured why not grab a dozen snake hide to go get tanned. Make some snakeskin boots since I got the crafting level, and I'm here, and they're free, better than paying 50k, and I can make two sets and sell them. Well, I've finished up with the inventory of cave horrors. Unfortunately, I am out of mithril arrows now. Unless we can get black mask in this last little kill here. Nope. I think I might try these out with melee for a bit. I don't know. I should probably work on quest though. Yeah, I'm going to work on quest before I work on a black mask. Alright, we've reached the lunar island. And see if we get killed upon walking into the city because this whole place is multi everywhere. Alright, here is the Lunar Diplomacy quest complete. Another step towards Dragon Fight Slayer 2, and there's also 35 rune crafting for what lies below. Looks like I didn't need that Cosmic Talisman after all. It's going to be more of an escape type thing, but I believe that's the rune crafting level requirement for all the quests, although I'm not sure entirely. Well, let's go feed that guy in the cave for dreaming. Alright, let's do this boss fight. Alright, and that quest is done. And here's that quest complete. We now have vengeance once we get the magic level. And a few other things. And for the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and put this into... Oh, no, I don't want defense. I want ranged. Because that is the most valuable XP, it seems, since that has the strictest cap on it. Oh, 68 mining I need for that? I'm going to go work on some Dragon Slayer 2 wrecks. We'll call this a video here, guys. Got some big stuff done. Rebuild is built couple small quests I need to knock out, a couple of monkey madness requirements, observatory quest is like a random one. Yeah, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Peace guys. Bye.